Diversity, when done well, brings a wide variety of ideas, perspectives and, and approaches to problem solving. And even though most innovators and inventors that we know about are men, who sometimes, by the way, steal other people's creations and then take full credit for it, what? history is also filled with badass women who had a vision and then took an idea out of their mind and turned it into this kind of innovation, this invention, this something that has shaped the world of today. From bulletproof vests to computer programming, here are the stories of five trailblazing women and their innovations. My God, I've created life! The creation of Kevlar by Stephanie Kwolek. Once upon a time, in a small research laboratory at DuPont, a brilliant chemist named Stephanie Kwolek was experimenting with polymers in the quest to find a lightweight, strong fiber. Kwolek had an insatiable curiosity and was eager to find new ways to improve people's lives. Until one day she stumbled upon a unique liquid crystalline solution that had the potential to be spun into a super strong and still fiber. Hmm. And her mind started imagining all the things that this could be used for. Now despite initial skepticism for its usefulness, Kwolek persisted and eventually created the groundbreaking material known as Kevlar. With its widespread applications from bulletproof vests to aerospace technology, her invention revolutionized various industries and saved countless lives, leaving an indelible mark on history. By the way, did you know that the word Kevlar actually means penguin feet? No, it doesn't. I just, I made that up. Next up is Ada Lovelace and the dawn of computer programming. Look, computer programming is arguably a male-dominated world which conjures up images like these. <laughs> All right, just a few more feet. But what if I told you that the first computer programmer in the world is actually Let's travel back to the 19th century where Ada Lovelace, who was a visionary mathematician, was working together with Charles Babbage on the analytical engine. It's kind of an early computer. Lovelace recognized the potential for this machine and she created the first algorithm for this computer, making her the first computer programming engineer in the world ever. Take that, nerds. No! Her pioneering work laid the foundation for the digital era, the one we're in right now, that the world we live in and work in right now. And let's be fair, if it wasn't for Ada Lovelace, maybe you and I wouldn't be together here, this little, doing this lovely thing. You wouldn't be able to have this kind of access. Mary Anderson's vision for safer driving. The windshield wipers. Mary Anderson was an inventive spirit and an entrepreneur. And in the early days of the car, she knows that a lot of the streetcar drivers uh, were getting into accidents and having all kinds of problems because they couldn't see in the snow and in the rain. Concerned for their safety and that of others, she set out to look for a solution. And after many trials and errors and, and building prototypes and testing stuff out, she developed a mechanical wiper system you could control from within the car. So while you were driving, you could, I guess, pull some kind of lever, which would then kind of clear the windows of the rainwater that had hit it. Fun fact, the first car company that actually started installing wipers as a standard part of their cars was a company Cadillac in 1922. And by the way, I, I love innovations like this because very often when we think of innovations, people think of, of kind of sexy, techy kind of things. You look lonely. Well, we forget about these really basic things. I often think about the, the rotating wheels under my suitcase when I'm at the airport, because people used to kind of carry and lug stuff around like that for years. And our next example is all about fair play and economic balance. Lizzie Maggie's game of economic lessons that led to the game Monopoly. Lizzie Maggie was a strong-willed and inventive woman. She was passionate about teaching people about the dangers of land monopolies, getting people to understand the, the uneven wealth distribution that was happening at the time, and probably kind of still is. She created the Landlord's Game in 1904 to get people to become aware of these inequalities. It's a great example of show, don't tell. Anne-Maria Beasley's Live Saving Invention. The life raft. Oh, and by the way, I've uh, developed a bit of a bit of bit of a life raft myself here on the waist. In the late 19th century, maritime travel was fraught with dangers for obvious reasons. Is that an iceberg I see? Iceberg, right ahead! Maria Beasley, a talented inventor with a, an eye for creative, clever solutions, recognized the need for a reliable way to survive in case of a shipwreck. Looking at all kinds of materials and all kinds of designs out there, in 1882 she created the first life raft, which was a groundbreaking design featuring guard railings, metal floats, and fireproof materials. Now her innovation has saved countless of lives during shipwrecks and accidents at sea, including the 1912 disaster with the Titanic. Oh, 
Although I still don't quite understand why couldn't roses have moved over a little bit and created some space for Jack on the driftwood? I'd, why did Jack have to die? There wasn't enough buoyancy to support both of them. So yeah, history is filled with amazing women who have gone out there and taken an idea out of their mind and turned it into an innovation which has made the world a better place. And with more and more girls and women stepping into STEM schools, I really look forward to seeing what the future holds in terms of kind of new creations and, and new innovations. And now it's over to you. What do you think of this list? Who should we include next time in this list of, of women innovators or feminine innovators? I think feminine innovators is a cool new word which we can use. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hey, and if I don't tell you enough, I just want to let you know that I really appreciate you being here. Around the world, girls.